Kevin, when you look at this one, what would you say was the difference maker and what happened in, in this game? Three point shots. <clears throat> Same thing. I mean, they shot 42% from the field overall. But you get high from three, they were shooting deep threes too. So um, they How got it going. They got it going. I mean, just. Excuse my language, but it's just a bad night. How would you just, just describe the defensive effort that you guys showcase and what needs to change from that? Well, I was just individual defense, one-on-one -on -one defense. I think we've given up a lot of easy drives, which is putting us in scrambling situations and giving up threes. we got to be more tight on the ball on our point of attack defense. Guarding the point guards, guarding the, um, the shooting guards. Feel like a lot of backcourts have been giving us problems. Um, so we got to do a good job in the interior and on the perimeter if we want to be a good team. Kevin, what would you say the mood was in the locker room post game? What you think? We lost three games or four games in a row. You want us to be excited about that? No. Yeah, so, yeah. of course, we, we're, we're pissed. We enjoy basketball. We like to win, though. So, of course, when we lose the game, it's not going gonna to be a somber mood in the locker room, you know. But we'll, it'll change once we start playing some good basketball. We got a lot of basketball to be played ahead of us. Kevin, you said multiple times about playing other teams that maybe on paper don't appear to be contenders or playoff contenders, but those guys get up because they play against you guys. Does it still, are you guys still frustrated to lose against those teams or do you chalk it to, you know, team gets hot? I know some, some of those players, you had Tyrese coming up, shooting threes over contested hands. We got three guys that hit five plus threes and they were hot. Buddy Hill, Tyrese, and Benedict Matherin. They're good players though. All of them will get $100 million. So, like, regardless of the expectation or what they look like on paper, they're individually good players. And then they got some more that were hurt tonight. So, yeah, it was talent in this league, I and mean, we can't overlook anybody. Um, obviously, the mood in there was somber. I'm curious, was there, did Steve have a particular message for you guys, or was it more player driven, whatever discussions were going on? I won't give you any discussions that we have in our locker room. We should keep that in between, what we, in between us. And secondly, I mean, we've been sitting here before with this discussion about the, particularly the perimeter defense, more than once. I'm curious, is at this point, are you concerned that Steve's message is not getting through at this no, point? No, that's on the individuals. We got to take pride individually. Coach could do so much, you know, he tell you what to do, but he's not playing for us. End of the day, I know, you know, no coaching matters, chemistry, all that stuff matters, but at the end of the day, we're individuals, so we got to be better as, a, as individuals, and then we'll bring that to the group and figure it out. But each guy just got to dig down deeper and just be better. That's just what it is. Kevin, you've been in the league a long time. Do meetings help? We're in constant communication all the time. If it's a scheduled meeting or not, I think we all talk about what we need to do as a team every day. So regardless if it's after a loss or it's looked at as a meeting, but we always have that. We always in constant dialogue about what we need to do as a group. So I wouldn't say it was anything special. Speaking of the group, do you think anything that's gone on with Kyrie recently with what he posted and the backlash he's faced from it, has impacted the group at all? Absolutely not. Only impacted you guys and everybody outside the locker room. Kevin, you only had three, four shots in the first half. Was that just anything they were doing to you defensively or another emphasis? No, I just felt like um, I was there to provide space and be a um, floor spacer in the first half. I felt like we got good rhythm going. I mean, I didn't, we were up. 10 points in that first half. We, They hit some threes to cut it there um, in the in a second quarter, but with my four shots, it doesn't matter. We were still winning the basketball game, playing solid defense. Um, you know, but I, in hindsight, after you lose a game, it's going to turn back. Of course, it looks bad, me only taking three to four shots, but 
I don't think we need, I need to shoot every time for us to be a good team.